Hi there and welcome back. When I was a little kid, my dad bought us a rock polisher. Cool little toy uh, experiment, what have you. I was probably somewhere around 8 to 10 years old. I don't remember exactly how old I was, but I think I was in that range. And I remember him setting it up and how fascinated I was with it. I think I remember the results being pretty good. But I don't really remember much of the process. I was a fairly impatient child and uh, prone to not be able to focus on things for very long. So I'm guessing we put it together and I probably forgot about it and then one day it was done and we thought it was super cool. That being said, I ran across uh, this idea of doing this again and uh, so I bought this. This is a uh, National Geographic, I think it's the, the pro version of their rock polisher and it comes with a, a one pound bag of semi-precious stones is what they call them and uh, we're gonna run this and see how well it works and see what we think about the results now uh, I haven't unboxed it yet we're, we're gonna do that together in just a minute uh, but uh, we're gonna run this it's gonna take me a month to process this through because it's got four different levels of grit it has to polish for a week so it's gonna take us four weeks we'll uh, do a little update um, for each week and uh, you know see how things turn out but uh, with this pro version it's got different speeds you can run this at uh, different you know you can set it for different time periods and it'll stop at the end etc etc we'll read all the instructions and go over all the features when we unbox it but it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool and uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see the results now in a follow-on video I'm going to get three bags they, they, they sell this as like an around the world bundle or something like that where they've got like a Mediterranean set of stones an Asian set of stones and a South American set of stones or Australian or something like that uh, we'll, we'll give more details on this one when, when the time comes and we're gonna run each one of those bags and see what the results are for each one so we're looking at a four-month project here at least what this is gonna tell us and I'll be able to review this at the end is how sturdy this device is uh, can it stand to run because it's gonna run non-stop for like a month just to process one one bag of the, these rocks well can it stand up to four months of constant running that's what we need to find out so we're gonna give it a look in just a minute we'll be in my kitchen unboxing this and uh, you know let's let's have a little bit of fun with this and see where where it goes I, I'm, I'm excited I know I think uh, polished rocks are pretty and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them at the end but I'll have a bunch of polished rocks I know that so anyway come along let's uh, let's check this out and, and work our way through this process All right, so here we are out kitchen getting ready to unbox our uh, rock polisher now we're gonna try this format a little differently I used to uh, do this with a uh, a uh, stationary camera and a tripod we're gonna work this through with our Osmo here and we've got the stationary camera looking down at the uh, the box that we're going to open up so uh, we're going to uh, open this up look at the goodies and then I'll use the Osmo to give you close-ups and things like that. So uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. All right, here we go with the box. So some of the features it says it's got speed control and shutoff timer. So these are the, the timers here. That's not on the standard. This is a, the professional. Two pound capacity rubber barrel. I think the rubber barrel is important because that'll muffle the sound of the rocks as they're jumbling one pound gemstone and jewelry settings so it comes with some jewelry settings if you wanted to make jewelry after it's done but we have one pound of gemstones and four polishing grits and as you remember I mentioned earlier we have to do each uh, grit for one week all right let's open it up and see what's inside oh note for ages eight and over all right let's do this okay here are all the parts okay so we've got this power supply uh, this, these are the jewelry settings. Uh, this is a gasket of some kind. We have the, uh, the strainer. We have the base here. Let's get a good look all around here. The Osmo is 
making it difficult. To, there we go, centered on there. Okay, so that's the base and here's a wheel. Ah, that's a replacement for the drive uh, assembly here. So we have the drive assembly, can you see that? So you, you've got a, the motor, a larger wheel here to get the more torque, or more uh, angular velocity. And then we've got the reservoir for the uh, for the rocks. Let's go ahead and open this up. I suspect our gemstones are already in here. Okay, this a little bit hard to get off, but it, that's that's a good thing because th we want that to be sealed. So this is rubber. I expect this is a an inner. So there's a rubber seal here. It looks like. And just so we see what's inside, we've got a Rock Tumbler learning guide, which has information about polishing stones, uses for polishing stones and different types of stones. Registration card, and we've got our instructions. So it says pop off the top of the stainless steel housing, which we did. It says if you have trouble, try using something flat like silverware to pry it off. All right, reattach the black knob and use it to pull off the inner lid. So we have this black knob here. Can you see it? This black knob. And then we have this inner lid. So it says reattach this. Okay. And use that to pull. Ah, that was super easy when you follow the instructions the instructions it's super easy all right and inside of the tumbler we have our grit polish we have our one pound bag of gemstones and we have our empty rubber and as you see it's flexible uh, empty rubber tumbler okay tumbler okay here's kind of a close-up look at the rocks and let's break out the grit so we can take a look at that really quickly okay. so we've got the the uh, four courses of grit grit one is coarse grit two is medium grit three is fine grit four is the polish all right, so what do we do now? Okay, so here are the rocks we're gonna run. So these red ones are interesting, and these speckled ones are kind of cool. These greens, I like these greens too. So uh, got a bunch of tiny ones. We're not, I'm not sure how those are gonna come out, but we're gonna we're gonna. Ooh, this one is unique in the group, and this one's shiny or very like a tiger's eye here. This one's unique, and so is this one. So we're gonna run these. I'm gonna follow the instructions. We're gonna run these and uh, see what happens. So we're gonna follow the instructions here. Step one, add your rocks and grit number one to the tumbler barrel. Okay. By the way, my Osmo is tracking me. So that is super cool. I love that so much. My, see this camera tracking me? Okay. Got all the rocks, okay. Hard to tell with this uh, <laughs> counter. Okay, look, we have all the rocks in. And step, oh, we have to do grit number one, the coarse grit. See that? Okay. Oh, there was actually a terror mark. I just didn't see it. All right. So this is what the coarse grit looks like. Can you see that? 
that's very uh, looks like it looks like it's got some metal big chunks you don't see it so this is the course we're gonna go ahead and pour it in okay Osmo still tracking me thank you Osmo for doing such a wonderful job uh, fill with water until the water just covers the top of the rocks okay be right back okay keep track of me Osmo okay so we have water step three tightly close the lid and place the barrel on the tumbler base well there was two steps for closing the lid there was the first step of this okay that makes a seal and then we have this one which goes on the outside okay make sure that that is good and tight we will uh, crank that down. Feel pretty good about that. Plug in the tumbler, select the desired speed setting, number of days. In parentheses, it says C. Suggested tumbling times and speeds below. When the cycle is over and you're satisfied with your result, pour the contents of the tumbler into a strainer and rinse the rocks and barrel with water removing all the grit. So we need to make sure when we actually clean this out that the grit's off of the, the barrel. We don't want to leave the same kind of grit inside, but we also want to make sure it's off the barrel lip because that could uh, create a not good seal and it could leak. So we got to be careful of that. Okay, so this is an extra drive belt. Here's our strainer which seems a little inadequate for what I think we're going to be doing, but we have to appreciate the effort of them providing a strainer. And then we are going to, I guess, place the tumbler on the wheel, and let her rip. Oh, how long are we gonna set it for? Uh, grit four. That was grit four, now grit one. Grit one, three to five days on highest speed until the stones have lost their sharp edges. Okay, three to five days on the, uh, three to five days on the highest speed. I don't know what the highest speed is. We're gonna find out. So, let's fire this up. I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna experiment with what the highest speeds are. Okay, well, first of all, it powered on. So that's a good sign. So our speeds, we have one, two, three. We have three speeds. So we have three to five days. Let's go, let's go five days. Okay, five days. Now, just to note, the tumbler is not on there, so it is not moving, and I'm wondering if there's like a safety thing. No? Okay. Ah. Okay, nowhere in the instructions did it say to push that button again. So for you watching this, that the power button, you have to push it again. So it, it apparently powers up when you plug it in and allows you to make the settings. But you gotta push the on off button to make it roll. Okay, so now we're going to allow this to run. Whoops, it's set for one day. Five days at, at speed three. And when we come back, this will be done, and we'll check out what's on the inside. All right? See you in a little bit, I suppose. Okay, so we now have our rock polisher running. You may hear it in the background as we speak. I do want to go ahead and wrap this video up. I think if we try to do all four weeks in one video, it's going to become really long because I do want to go into details as we go through each of the next steps just to make sure everything's covered. I would hate for this to become a 30 or 40 minute long video trying to piece all the parts together. So we're going to end this one here and we're going to come back in five days and we're going to see what we have with the first uh, batch here. So we'll see you in, the, in about five days.